Right. Do you hear what the word said? In the day of your fast, ye find pleasure. In the day of your fast, no, you no need to go pick up a good book outside the Bible. <laughs> That's right. Oh, no. Pleasure. Oh, I want to get a good book and read it. You're fasting, put the book down. Amen. The only thing you should be doing is connecting yourself closer and closer to God. Right. That's right. Wonderful. Listen, fasting is not a game. No, no. It is a sacrifice you give God. Amen. Jesus, Amen. the apostles, Amen. have never called a prayer line. Uh, no, they didn't. Never. No, they didn't. They got to come back to the spiritual GPS system. That's right. Yeah. That's right. This is our direction here. That's right. Is any sick among you? If any sick among you, let him call let, for the help. Let him call. That's right. You got to go to the preacher. I want prayer. That's right. You got to go. That's right. Not the preacher say, look, all of you that want prayer now, form a line here. No, no, no. Have your hundred dollar prayer line. No. And we'll have our thousand dollar. No. No, no. No. Is any sick among you? The moment he call it, he's disobedient. That's right. Because the Bible said exact, exact, mm -hmm. no more right. than what's supporting you. That's right. That means you cannot go beyond That's right. what God said. That's that's right. You got to stay within the confines Go ahead. of the book. That's right. These are the end times, so now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. All right, the second question this person has is, besides the anointing for the purpose of healing by the elders, what are the usages of oil in the church? Give me the book of James. James, amen. James chapter 5. Give me the book of James. Amen. James chapter 5, and we'll start at And first. then we'll get Jesus. Mm -hmm. In fact, let me get Jesus first. Mm -hmm. For Jesus, he come along with a very, very, very good doctrine. Amen. Yes. And having a very good doctrine, he taught us how to fast. Fast, that's right. In Matthew chapter 6. I want you to get this. We want to deal with the proper usage of oil. That's right. Come on, son. Matthew chapter 6, we're at verse 16. God. Amen. Come on. Moreover, when you fast. When you fast. Be not as the hypocrites. All right, hold it. Don't be as a hypocrite. Don't be uh, a faker. That's Don't right. pretend like you're fasting just to get some type of compliments or praise. That's right. Yeah. Don't be like the hypocrite. Of a sad countenance. Of a sad countenance. You know you ain't, you ain't been without food for 10 minutes. Amen. <laughs> That's right. And you're already walking around. Oh, God. That's right. I'm, I'm on my way. <laughs> on my way. You're That's right. right. You're probably on your way to the kitchen. Come That's on, right. son. For they disfigure their faces. They do what? They disfigure their faces. Now, let me explain to you how to fast according to the book of Scripture. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want everyone to listen closely, especially you preachers that are watching. Amen. You have taught the people that the way you fast is from six to six. Right. And the Scripture you use out of ignorance is when the book says there's only 12 hours in a day. In a day. De 12 hours in a day. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, there's 24 hours in a day. That's right. So when it says 12 hours in a day, it's dealing with daylight. Right. So I want to say, well, wait a minute. When nighttime start, uh, when the moment it get night, another day start. Just a minute. The book says when Jesus rose early in the morning while dark. it was dark. Dark. That's right. While it was dark, mm -hmm. he rose early in the morning right. while dark. it was dark. That's right. It was still dark. Right. If you understand God's ability to create everything, Amen. look at it when he made the sun and called it the greater light and made the moon, call it the lesser light. Right. Why you think daylight just don't jump quick? No. Daylight come gradually. gradually. Mm -hmm. Darkness decrease gradually. That's right. Why did God do that? Show you the development of the man. That's right. Go ahead, you bro. see, light shined in darkness, Amen. and darkness comprehended not. Right. So if darkness is called, if the moon is called lesser light, then lesser light represents the wisdom of man. That's it. And if the sun is called greater light, then the sun represents the wisdom of God that outshines Go ahead. the wisdom of man. That's right. Don't you hear Solomon say that the eyes of the Lord is 10,000 times brighter 
brighter than the sun. That's right. When Paul was on the road to Damascus, Amen. a light shined from heaven above the brightness of the, the, sun. Brightness of the sun. That's right. So when great light comes within your heart and within your mind, the darkness that is in us, the more light we understand, the darkness gradually fade away. That's right. That's it. Fade away gradually, gradually, and then the light get brighter. Right, darkness get less. That's right. Light, hallelujah. Light get brighter. That's right. Darkness get less. Amen. Until now, my whole body is illuminated right. by the wisdom of the Most High. That's right. Are well, you getting what I'm telling you? Moreover, when ye fast. Jesus said, Moreover, thanks be unto God when you fast. Be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance. Don't be as a, Hallelujah. As a hypocrite with a sad countenance. For they disfigure their faces. They disfigure their faces. That they may appear unto that men they too may fast. Appear unto who? Unto men too fast. You see, they want to prove something to people. That's right. They're so busy trying to impress people. Amen. Mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Jesus, what you mean, Jesus, they got their reward. Mm -hmm. They ain't doing nothing. No. But thou. What they're doing is in vain. That's right. But thou. That lets you know now he's establishing something for his people. Amen. But thou. When thou fastest. You got to do something different here. That's right. Mm -hmm. Anoint thine head. Do what? Anoint thine head. All right, hold it. When the book says anoint your head, I don't mean you got to have your whole forehead shining like the tail light of a car. No. 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 Take some oil, just put a little oil on your head. That's right. And you want to be prayerful that day. Right. Woman, when you're fasting and anoint your head, you got to have your head covered. That's right. Because the word of God says when you pray or prophesy and you don't have your head covered, you dishonor your head. Right. So you got to have your head covered, woman. That's right. Why are you, why, why, why are you on that fast? That's Brother, if you're on a fast, don't cover your head. That's right. Because when you do that, you dishonor God. Dishonor God. Huh? That's right. Paul said, I set all things in order when I come. That's right. Glory to God. Come on, son. But thou, when thou fastest, when you fast, anoint thine head. When thou fast, anoint your head. And wash thy face. Do it on that order. That's right. That's right. Don't wash your face first and then anoint after. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. The Bible said exact no more yeah, than right. what is appointed you. Anoint thine head. Anoint your head. And wash thy face. And wash your face. That thou appear not unto and men too don't, fast. Listen, what you mean don't appear unto men. Don't fast just to be seen. That's right. Uh, do it because you want something from God. But unto thy father. Unto thine father. Which is in secret. Which is in secret. And thy father which seeth in secret. Now when you go out there and fast. And while you're on that fast. You don't be broadcasting to people or oh, I'm fasting today. No, no you that's that secret. secret. It's between you and God. That's right. Brother and sister, while you're fasting, mm -hmm. now the bed is on strike. That's it. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Hey, Amen. You, you ain't no pleasure. No. no. Give me the book of Isaiah. Isaiah son. chapter 58. Amen. Glory and to God. And then verse 3. God, Amen. I want to lay some good highway here. Amen. What did the Holy Ghost say? Wherefore have we fasted, say Wait, they? Chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 3. What is it? Wherefore have we fasted, say they? Wherefore have we fasted, say they? And thou seest not. And you don't get no results. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul? And listen, when you fast, mm -hmm. you got afflicted. Your soul. That's right. You'll choose the way of suffering. Amen. Is it not a wet fast? No. no. You fast and just drink water. Oh no. no, no. When you fast, no lifesaver. No. No tic tac. That's right. No chewing gum. Amen. I'm talking about old fashioned holiness. That's, That's right. right. That's it. Huh? That's right. That's what I'm talking. Amen. What did it say there? Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and Wherefore thou seest not? Have we fasted, say they, and you don't see no results? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul? And, and thou takest no knowledge. Listen, when you fast, you better pay attention to what you're doing. That's right. Amen. That's right. Better observe what you're doing. That's right. You're afflicting your soul, you're depriving yourself of food. Amen. But you're not what? And, and thou takest no knowledge. You're not observing yourself. That's right. Amen. You're still acting like you're not fasting. Right. Mm -hmm. Behold, Look. in the day of your fast. In the day. In the day of your fast. In the day. Of your fast. Glory to God that you fast. Ye find pleasure. Oh. Amen. See, you ain't paying attention to what you're doing. No. When you fast, it ain't no pleasure. No. Oh, no. You, that, you and that wife don't come together. No, no. Uh, 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 uh. And right. listen, if one is fast, and the other is not the one that is not fasting honor the fast that's right I don't care if you're burning so hot you trigger your smoke alarm that's right, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> go and take God amen. honor the fast that's right but you get the old man amen. amen honor that fast that's right you ought to be strong enough if your wife fast three days and three nights amen. if you give the shivers like you're having withdrawal symptoms amen. honor the fast that's right 
That's, That's right. right. Don't ask your wife to break the fast no. because you want to get laid. No. 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 And then you want to tell her, I'm the head. You're showing that you're weak. That's right. Ah! That's right. That's the, go ahead. That's the, yeah. Go Are ahead. Are you getting the old troublemaker? Amen. 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 What the holy book said. Behold, in the day of your fast, ye find pleasure. In the day, day. of your fast. Ye find pleasure. pleasure. Amen. My God, you ain't out there at the mall trying to find a cell? No. no. <laughs> That's, That's you in God time. That's right. You ain't sitting watching your soap operas? No. That's right. That's pleasure. Pleasure. No, pleasure. no, 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 not That's that. Right. That's right. No, not that. Amen. In the day of your fast, you find pleasure. You're not combing your wig? No. Go ahead. Because you're not supposed to have one know-how. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Huh? Go ahead. The holy book says what? Behold, in the day of your fast. You're not going to the movie theater? No. That's right. No. That's true. In the day of your fast. You find pleasure. You find them pleasure. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Go ahead. You're not going out on a date? No. Because that woman said, well, Pastor Jennings, well, suppose I go out on the date, but I don't eat. What are you doing? Find pleasure. Pleasure, sir. Hmm? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Do you hear what the word said? In the day of your fast, ye find pleasure. In the day of your fast, no, you don't no need to go pick up a good book outside the Bible. <laughs> That's right. Oh, no. Pleasure. Oh, I want to get a good book and read it. You're fasting, put the book down. Amen. The only thing you should be doing is connecting yourself closer and closer to God. Right. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. Never mind no love story. No. Never mind that you're not going out to a play. That's right. Oh, no. You're afflicting your soul. Amen. Affliction of the soul is depriving yourself from everything that gives you life right. that's against God. That's right. Amen. It's God time now. That's right. Ah. Amen. Glory to God. Real quick. Behold, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure and, and exact all your labors. What you mean you exact all your labor? Now you want to try to rush your fast. That's right. You're so busy concentrating on, man, it's 3 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock. about 6 more hours. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Exact all your life. Focus on your fast. That's right. Don't be rushing. That's right. What are you in a hurry for? Amen. If you really want what you need from God, you got to pay a price to get it. Yes, Amen. you do. You get what I'm telling you? That's right. And that's the right. holy book says what? And exact all your labor. What else? Behold, ye fast for strife and debate. Hey, listen, when you fasting, what are you out there arguing, fighting, and cussing, and fussing for? That's right. You can't be doing that. No, no. Gotta walk away from the fight. Amen. Gotta walk away from the argument. That's right. You can't be giving someone a piece of your mind. That's why some are so ignorant. Mm -hmm. They gave out so many pieces, you ain't got no mind left. That's right. That's right. That's it, sir. You fast for strife you and debate. You fast for strife and, and debate. And to smite with the fist of wickedness. You out there fasting, you ain't got no business fighting. Fighting, no. Telling somebody, come on outside. That's right. Come on outside. No, you go outside and pray. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Listen, fasting is not a game. No, no. It is a sacrifice you yes. give God. That's Amen. Right. Ye shall not fast. Listen at the law. God laying law to us. Ye shall not fast. Ye, God letting you know what he don't want. Amen. Ye shall not fast. As ye do this day. Everything that God itemized right there, right. he's telling you, don't give that to him. That's right. That's right. That's right. Don't do it. Ye shall not fast as you do this don't day. Don't do it. Amen. You shall not fast as you do this day. To make your voice to be heard Out on high. to be seen. So that's one place where you anoint your head when you fast. That's right. All right, let's get to the other place when you use oil. In James chapter 5 and we're at verse 13. I want this to be good for you preachers who mm -hmm. claim God sent you, yet you ain't got sense enough to know when oil should be used. That's right. That's right. Listen. James 5 and verse 13. Get me. Is any among you afflicted? Hold it. Mm -hmm. Listen at the language of the Holy Righteous Book. Is any among you afflicted? If there's any among you that's afflicted, let him pray. You pray. That's right. You didn't say call a preacher for everything. No. No. You pray. Let him pray. This is what the Holy Ghost is laying to us. Is any among you afflicted? If there's any among you afflicted, let him pray. Let him pray. Is any married? If you're married, let him sing songs. Start singing. Is any sick among uh -oh. you? Uh-oh. Amen. The Bible is very precise. Mm -hmm. The Holy Script is dealing with very detailed here. Is any sick among you? Is there any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of let the church. Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over let him. Let them pray over him. Anointing him with oil. Anointing him with oil. In the name of the Lord. Who should call for prayer? Any sick among you. It ain't say the preacher get up and call a prayer line. No. no. Yeah. Let him call. Say that. No. no. Who should call? Any sick among you, let him call for the elders of Who the church. Who should call? Any sick among you, let him call you for preachers? the elders. You mean to tell me you apostles and bishops and pastors and evangelists, and you ain't got sense enough to know when to use oil? Amen. 
Amen. Jesus, yeah. the apostles mm. have never called a prayer line. Oh, no, they didn't. Never. No, they didn't. They got to come back to the spiritual GPS system. That's right. Eh, That's right. This is our direction here. That's right. Is any sick among you? If any sick among you, let him call let, for the let, elders. Let him call. That's right. You got to go to the preacher. I want prayer. That's right. You got to go. That's right. Not the preacher say, look, all of you that want prayer now, form a line here. No, no, no. Have your hundred dollar prayer line. No. And we have our thousand dollar. No. No, no. No. Is any sick among you? The moment he call it, he's disobedient. That's right. Because the Bible said exact, exact. No, mm -hmm. no more. Right. There was a point in you. That's right. That means you cannot go beyond. That's right. What God said. That's right. You got to stay within the confines of the book. That's, That's right. right. Is any sick among you? Any, hallelujah. Glory to God. If there's any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. Let him call. That's right. Let him call let for him, the elders of the church. And let them pray over him. Doing what? Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. This is what preachers do. Preachers, they call the prayer line and they anoint everybody. Everybody's Right. They get that oil, slap it on their head and start praying. Get the oil on slap the, the Bible plainly says. And let them pray over him. Let let them pray over him. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil. But what condition a person got to be in? Sick among you. If they sick, then what are you? Let them oil. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. What condition they got to be under? Sick among you. If they sick, what the preacher use? Oil. Anointing him with oil. Listen, you ain't sick, no oil. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, sick. You ain't sick. That's true. No oil. That's right. No oil. No oil. That's right. Jesus said, exact no more than what's a partnership. That's right. Exact no more than what's a partnership. That's right. The moment you put oil on folks that's not sick, mm -hmm. you add it. And Give me right. Revelation. Revelation chapter 22. 22 18. 18. That's right. For I testify unto every man. Wait a minute. What did it say there? For I testify. What did it say there? For I testify. I better find out who's testifying here. I, Jesus. Begin at verse 16. At verse 16. Who's talking? I, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. I, Jesus. I, Hallelujah. Jesus. I testify. I, Jesus, Amen. sent my angel to testify to bear witness unto you these things. Unto you these things. In the church. Now, I want now I want everybody to get this Go ahead. because Jesus got it written here That's right. that he want this to be preached in the church. In the church. In the church. Do you hear what it says? Here? I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you. Now listen, when he said I send my angel to testify unto you, these things, these things in the church. The angel he's talking about is a preacher. That's right. The word angel means messenger. That's right. You see, the angel is called a star. Go ahead. The stars that are in heaven reflect the light of the sun that you don't see. That's right. But the stars that are in heaven shine at night. Right. That's what the preacher is. That's right. He's a star. Mm -hmm. God let him shine at night. That's right. What do you mean at night? Where there's darkness. Yes. In the soul of man. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. God sent a star. Hallelujah. God sent a preacher. That's right. And that preacher got to reflect the wisdom and the That's knowledge right. of God. That's right. Wonderful. Man. Wonderful. God wanted preached. That's right. In the church. In the church. What did he say? Sir? I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto I, you. Jesus have sent my messenger that's right to bear witness on these things these in things the churches in the churches i am the root and the offspring of david i am the root and the offspring of david and the bright and morning star and the bright and morning star and the spirit and the bride say come who said it the spirit and the bride they got the church and the and, and god that's right uh, that's you right. see god talked mm -hmm. through the church that's, that's right. right the spirit and the bride and the bride say come says come that's right you see that that's, that's right the spirit and the bride that's god that's right and the bride mm -hmm. that's the body that's right it's talking about the head go the ahead. husband that's and the wife that's right go ahead brother just one go ahead go ahead God works through the church. That's right. That's good teaching now. God is the head of the church. That's right. That's right. The spirit and the bride. And the church. Say come. Say the spirit and the body. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say come. And let him that let you know right there. In order to hear the spirit, you gotta be attached to the body. That's right. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Huh? Go ahead. The Holy Ghost says what? And the spirit and the bride say come. The spirit and the bride says come. And let him that heareth say let come. Let him that heareth say come. And let him that is a thirst come. Let him that is thirsty come on. And whosoever will. Whosoever will. Let him take the water of life freely. And do what? For I testify uh -oh. unto every man. I bear witness mm -hmm. to every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy of this. That book. hear what the book says. If any man. If any man. Shall add unto these things. Just a minute. Amen. Any man. Any man. Any man. Any man. Just a minute. Man. 
Amen. Go ahead, brother. Whatever the word of God laid down, Amen. Don't you add nothing to it. That's right. When you got an acting deacon, you're adding. Adding. Amen. Amen. You're adding an office that's not in there. That's right. When you got junior deacons and junior bishops, you're adding. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you became an apostle by someone laying hands on you, hey. you're adding. That's right. Because an apostle is called direct of God. That's right. An apostle is sent direct of God. Go ahead. An apostle is taught direct of God. Go ahead. And an apostle has seen God. That's right. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Go ahead. 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 That's it, man. As one born out in due time. Amen. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? That's right. If any man, if any man shall add, add unto these add, things, add, 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 add. add. Right. add. If any man shall add to these things, God shall add unto him. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. God gonna chastise you. That's, That's right. right. God gonna plague you. That's right. That means ain't nothing pleasant coming to you either. No, no. Yeah. If the Bible says one thing, who are you to say it ain't like that? Shut your mouth. Amen. Right. Amen. Little Johnny come lately, men. Right. Speck of dust. That's right. That's right. Unchallenged, the infallible, everlasting, Go ahead. eternal wisdom of God. Amen. God said, I stretched off the heavens alone. Right. And spread it from broad the earth by myself. That's right. Little, weak, feeble, spineless, no good, rotten, it, devil brother. deceived, hell bound men. Preach it, preach it. Oh no, God, they all they make the world. Uh, the yeah. Big Bang, the Big Bang Theory did it. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's a fool. Yeah. Any time you denounce God, you blaspheme. That's right. What did the holy books ask? If any man shall add unto these things, if any man add to these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Then what? And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this book, all right, you can't add nothing, you can't subtract nothing. That's right. Leave it just like it is. Amen. If they sick, oil. Oil. No sick, no oil. That's right. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's right. You don't need a revelation to understand that. Uh, no. Sick. Oil. Oil. Mm -hmm. Not sick. No oil. No oil. No oil. That is all. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on, Dan, the man. These are the end times, so now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com.